Jumping into the number five spot of the best budget mechanical keyboards of 2024 is the Gamma K K61 Pro. Coming in at a price tag of only $69.99. If you want to check out any of the five keyboards in this video, there's Amazon links below, 40 US, UK, Canada, and international links. But let's talk about the Gamma K. Firstly, this is a 60% form factor with a two-piece acrylic case that has dongle storage on the upper right-hand corner, which I think is a nice touch. This thing feels solid with a really nice weight to it. There's no flex or creaks, and it looks amazing with all of that RGB. But really, one of the biggest things is the case. It's nice and thick. That acrylic just makes for a really nice sounding and feeling board overall. Plus, you get the whole see-through thing, which if you're into RGB, this is the one to get. Now, in the case, there is foam between the plate and the PCB, a switch dampening pad, as well as more foam in the case. So the overall sound profile is a more dampened, quieter keyboard, but what I think could be a very good upgrade is the keycaps. That's really the only thing that I would say that would be a huge jump. Now for switches, you get a choice between Gamma K's Prelude linear switches, which are crystals. These are the ones that I have, or you have Bumblebee and Phoenix switches. You also then have a choice between Gateron reds, yellows, or browns. So you get quite a bit of switch options there. Now, me personally, I actually really like the crystal switches. They're pre-lubed, they're nice and light, they feel smooth, and have a nice quieter sound to them if that's what you're into. Also, this is fully hot swappable with three and five pin switches. Now for the keycaps, as you can see, you get shine through PBT pudding keycaps to show off all that RGB. As for the quality here, the printing is good. There's no dim spots and these definitely have more of a grippy texture to them. But overall, these are fairly cheapy budgety keycaps. Not the worst I've seen, but don't expect high, high levels of keycap quality here. Now, let's talk about these stabilizers. The stabilizers are factory lube, but there is some ticking on all of the stabs. Nothing super major, and it's not a super bad tick. And honestly, this would be fixed within like five minutes with just a little bit of lube. You don't even need to get dielectric grease. You could really just use the lube that you're gonna be using for your switches if you are gonna be doing that, which you don't on this keyboard, but very, very easy to fix. But don't take my word for it. Take a listen to the sound test. And that is how it sounds. Now for connectivity, this is wired with a detachable USB type C, and then you get wireless connectivity with Bluetooth and a 2.4 gigahertz USB dongle. You're gonna wanna use the dongle if you wanna do wireless gaming, but that's great. In this price point with everything else you get, that's a great deal. Now lastly, to finish it up with the Gamma K, the RGB, well, the RGB is great here. It's insanely bright with the pudding keycaps. The side case lighting is nice and bright. There's tons of modes, colors, per key lighting, everything that you would expect, this brings it. If you're into RGB, this is gonna be the best on the list for that. But with that, let's move on to the number four spot. And this is the Royal Kludge R75, coming in at a price tag of $71.99. Now here we move to a 75% form factor, but that's not all. You actually do get a knob here, which I really like. Now you get a more unique design here with a two-tone plastic case soft rounded edges, and a nice Royal Kludge logo printed on the front. This looks, feels, and sounds like a custom keyboard. This is gasket mounted with tons of dampening in the case, including a silicone pad, case foam, and a switch dampening pad, and then foam padding under the space bar. Overall, this is a solid keyboard to type on as well as to game on, and it just makes it feel a little bit more like a custom keyboard, which is most of the keyboards on this list they're getting so good at the price point. Now as for color options, you actually do get two here. You can either get it in green or you can get it in purple. So that's gonna be a little bit more of a limiting factor depending on your setup or what you're into. But if you do like the green or the purple, this is a great option. Now for the switches, you get a silver switch. It is factory lubed and that's the only switch option you get, but it's not like a kale silver speed switch. It's not like that at all. These are actually very, very smooth. The lube job is actually quite good. These genuinely feel very, very smooth. I was impressed. They're also nice and quick with that faster actuation. So for gaming, these are definitely going to excel. Now, typing, it might take you a little bit to get used to it, but it's for sure doable. These are obviously linears, but the sound that these make paired with the keycaps is just so satisfying to listen to. 
Also, this is fully hot swappable with three and five pin switches. Now let's talk keycaps. These are MDA profile. They are double shot PVT. The keycaps themselves look great. They are smooth, but the actual printing has a nice texture to it. And I also really like the minty green colorway. It looks a little bit more like a custom keyboard. The stabs here are factory lubed and they feel great. There is the slightest amount of rattle on my spacebar, but that's it. And again, super, super easy to go in and adjust that. But again, don't take my word for it. Take a listen to the sound test. And that is how it sounds. As for connectivity, this is wired, so you don't get wireless connectivity, but it does have an attachable USB type C. Now, RGB here is pretty much exactly what you'd expect. They're not shine through keycaps. So again, more like a custom keyboard, but it is per key RGB. You have tons of modes, tons of colors, pretty much everything that you would want if you did want to get a little bit of that glow behind the keycaps, or if you did want to switch to shine throughs, go for it. But with that, let's move on to the number three spot. And this is the Royal Axe Y68, coming in at a price tag of $69.99. We've had this on a keyboard list before, and it's still on this one in 2024 because it's that good. Now, this is a 65% form factor. Build quality here is absolutely amazing for the price. It's substantially heavy for a 65% board. This has a two-piece plastic shell, with larger thick metal accents on the right and left, dual stage risers. And when you get inside of the board, the plate is a thick metal plate with a super high quality silicone dampening pad between the plate and the PCB. Then past that, you get a giant silicone molded dampener in the case. So this makes this board sound super solid and quite good, but again, more of a dampened sound, not a louder, poppier sound, which there is a keyboard on this list that if you're into that, if you do want a louder keyboard, there is gonna be one that's actually quite a special sound profile. Again, that's louder. This one's definitely quieter, a little bit more stealth, but it still sounds great. Overall, this just feels and sounds very, very premium. Lastly, you do also get this really cool switch on the top right to switch between your wired and wireless modes. It's very satisfying to use and it looks good and it's definitely unique and I like that about it. For the colors, you can get this in either gray or pink. I have both colorways and both look great. If you're into pink, you got a pink one. Like that's a great looking pink. If you're into gray, go for it. They both look fantastic and they're not just like one solid color. They have a lot of accents throughout, which I really dig. Now for the switches, you get Gateron Pro Yellows. The switches pair with this quite well. They're nice and smooth. They are pre-lubed from the factory and they did a good job. As for hot swap ability, you guessed it. Fully hot swappable with three and five pin switches. Now as for the keycaps here, they're actually quite good. They are nice and thick, which is something that I honestly wasn't expecting before getting this keyboard, but they're great. However, interestingly enough, even though these are a thicker keycap, it does still produce a higher pitched tone. So the whole sound profile of this board is definitely on the lighter, brighter, and stealthier vibe, but you'll hear that in the sound test. Also stick around to the end of the video when you do a back-to-back -back sound test of all the keyboards, but continue talking about the keycaps, the font here, the printing is actually quite crispy, but now the stabilizers, they are really, really good, being nice and tight in the plate and being tuned very well with no tick or rattle. This is very impressive, but don't take my word for it. Take a listen to the sound test. And that is how it sounds. For connectivity, like I said, this is wireless, but you can also use this wire with a detachable USB type C, or you get Bluetooth or game wirelessly with a 2.4 gigahertz USB dongle. As well, the battery life here is great with a 3000 milliamp hour battery. Now, lastly, the RGB, it's above average in brightness. It's got great colors, vibrancies, and all the modes and static colors you'd expect. But with that, let's move on to the number two spot, which is the Epo Maker Shadow X, coming in at a price tag of $85.99. This one is the special keyboard with a very, very special sound profile. This is a more unique form factor, almost like an 1800 form factor, but not fully, but it looks absolutely beautiful. This is completely made of plastic with a two-piece case with a metallic finish, 
but it feels solid and great to type on with it being gasket mounted as well as having pour on dampening, silicone dampening, and a switch pad. There's also a full LED screen that displays the date, time, battery, connection mode, RGB modes, and a few other things. It's very intuitive to use. Uh, and it's also very cool to just have that there. Now, there is also a knob. It is unfortunately not a volume knob, but it does switch between the connection modes. However, this knob is fully metal. It feels extremely good, and the tactility is unbelievably good. It is so satisfying. Plus, just being very practical because you can easily switch between connection modes or turn the keyboard off to save battery. So, that's really well thought out. Do kind of wish that it was a knob that was designated for volume, but as for color options, you don't get any. You get black and you're gonna be happy with that. For most of you, I think it'll be nice. It's kind of a black and gray vibe. It's it's good. Now as for switches, you get a choice between Epo Maker's own switches. You have a choice between Wisteria, Bluebird, and Flamingos for linear. Then you get Budgegars for tactile or Gateron Pro Yellows, which are not tactile, those are linears. Now I have the Wisterias and I've also used the Budgegars, which are great tactile switch. So if you want tactile, go for the Budgegars. They're great. I haven't used the Bluebirds, but I've also used the Flamingos. And really honestly here, you're not gonna go wrong with a switch option. Even the Gateron Pro Yellows are gonna be great. Again, you really can't go wrong. As well, obviously as you expect, this keyword is fully hot swappable with three and five pin switches. All right, now for the keycaps. Now, if you guys have been in the community of keyboards, you will recognize these keycaps because I'm pretty sure these are just Akko ASA keycaps. They look exactly the same. They feel exactly the same. They are ASA profile. They are literally those keycaps. Akko must have, I don't know, teamed up. I don't know if they call them Akko's keycaps, but they are Akko's keycaps. This is not a bad thing. Those keycaps retail for about $50 on their own. So this is an extremely nice set of keycaps for this keyboard. Like that is really, really good. I would say everyone that buys this keyboard is not going to be upgrading their keycaps. They might upgrade or modify other things, but the keycaps are really, really a fantastic value. And that really makes this a awesome value proposition. However, let's talk about the stabilizers. How are they? They're fantastic. They just knocked it out of the park here no rattle, a great sound, it's nice, deep, good resonance. Like, it, they just did a great job here. There's no problems with the stabilizer. Listen for how different this one sounds. This is a louder board. It sounds more like you have PE foam in this, so it's definitely that poppier, louder, beautiful sound. It is a great sound stock. This sounds like a custom keyboard. It looks like a custom keyboard. If that's what you're into, you're gonna love it. But take a listen to the sound test. And that is how it sounds. I love it. I absolutely love it for the price. That's freaking hard to beat if, again, if you want that loud keyboard. Now, as for connectivity, you can use this wirelessly with either Bluetooth or a 2.4 gigahertz USB dongle, or you can plug this in with a USB type C, either for charging or connectivity. This also has a nice large 3000 milliamp hour battery, so battery life is good. Now, as for the RGBs here, these are south facing LEDs, which is fantastic. That means if you did wanna switch out your keycaps, you can pretty much do any keycap profile you want without interference on basically any switch. So. That's great. The RGB here is a little bit more understated, but it still looks attractive. There's tons of modes, colors, perky lighting, pretty much everything you need. But with that, let's move on to the number one best budget, best value keyboard of 2024. This is the Techware Phantom Plus or the Techware Phantom Plus Elite. There's two variants. Coming at a price tag of only $55.99 for the Plus and $79.99 for the Plus Elite. Now, both of the Phantom's build quality is immense. The Plus Elite is basically like an upgraded version of the Plus, and that's personally my favorite. It is a fantastic value for the money. The build quality, even though this is, I think, the cheapest keyboard on the list, if you get the Plus, this has the best build quality. It is immense. This has a very, very thick, solid metal top plate, a single piece plastic shell that has these modern looking hexagonal edges and glossy accents. And with the Elite, you also get a detachable magnetic skirt. However, where the build quality excels is inside of the board. 
with two layers of foam between the plate and the PCB, one being traditional foam and one being of a higher quality, more expensive foam, pour on foam. This gives a very interesting and sophisticated sound profile that just sounds right. It's not too loud. It's not too quiet. It's basically what everyone is going to like. Now in the case itself, it follows suit here. Having two more layers of foam, not only this, but this has rubber dampeners for the space bar stabilizer. Very, very, very impressive for the price point. Now for the switches, these are Techware's own switch. And while they're not the best in the world, they're dang good for this price point. If they were on a $200 keyboard, I would be like, nah, maybe a little bit something else. But this is something I would expect up to 140, 150 bucks at the $55, $99 price tag. These are immense. They are pre-lubed from the factory and they feel quite good. You have a choice between Wraith Brown and Orange, which are tactiles, or Wraith Red and Pink, which are linears. All of the switches don't have the thickest amount of lube on there, but they feel nice and smooth and they sound great. And honestly, I think 95% of you watching this video are gonna be extremely happy with the switches. Now for hot swappability, this is not fully hot swappable with three and five pin switches, but three pin switches. So if you have five pin switches, you can just clip two of those pins and then it works with the three pins. Now let's talk keycaps. There is a difference between the non-elite and the elite. So there are different keycaps. On the plus, it's going to be a single color keycap. On the elite, it's gonna be kind of a two-tone color. Shine through is good with a slight texture on the elite keycaps and a more smooth texture on the plus keycaps. Overall though, very good. Both of them feel quite nice on the board. This does not feel like a cheap keyboard. You're just going from pure feel, this actually feels like the most expensive keyboard on the list, which is wild. Now, let's talk about the stabilizers. Absolutely fantastic tuning. The feel here is again, the best on the list. When they come out with a product, it is so freaking polished, it is amazing. That's why this is still the best budget keyboard in the industry. But don't take my word for it, take a listen to the sound test. and that is how they sound. As for connectivity, this uses a detachable USB type C on the plus, and then obviously on the elite, you get that plus wireless with Bluetooth or a 2.4 gigahertz USB dongle for gaming. For the RGB, it's super bright RGB here. So if you did wanna do some shine through keycaps that are more RGB like puddings or crystals, it's gonna be great. You have tons of colors, it's perky lighting, an extreme amount of static color. So if that's what you're into, you're gonna be able to match your setup, basically everything you'd want. But again, if you wanna check out any of the five keyboards in this video, there's Amazon links below for the US, UK, Canada, and international links. These are the best keyboards on a budget, insane value on pretty much all of these. There should be a keyboard that fits into everyone's kind of budget as well as, well, actually what you want. It's amazing what you get for the money now at this point in time with the keyboard industry. It's just crazy. But yeah, this is a consumer tech review. Obviously I was a little under the weather. That's why my voice was all messed up. My voice is gonna hurt. It is hurting. It's gonna be bad. But how to get the upload out every single week. This is a consumer tech review. I'll see you guys in the next video.